I've tried a million different diets and I was very unhealthy. She's using a hormone in conjunction with a very strict diet designed to lose a lot of weight fast. In the first week, I lost 12 pounds. Six weeks, I lost about 26 pounds. The results are dramatic, as the before and after pictures clearly show. It's not cheap. It averages $900 for a six-week program. Somebody asked how I gained all the weight um, by eating and not exercising. Hi, everyone. I haven't done a vlog in a really long time, so we're going to try to do one today. But I'm not sure if it's going to turn out well or not. Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's video is another highly requested video from you Fruit Bats. A number of you are subscribed to Ashante, I believe that's her name, sorry if I butchered it, and she is another YouTuber. And recently she went on a really unhealthy diet called the HCG diet. And understandably so, a lot of you are concerned for her health and well-being. And after coming from eating disorders myself and being on every fad diet, I want to help Ashante see where she's going wrong because I hate seeing women fall for this crap. I really hate it and it needs to stop. So let's do our best to help her today and here is some footage to start off with. So to start out this series, I thought it would be a good idea to sort of do a video on overall how I lost the weight, as you can tell from the title, and uh, just my stats. I get a lot of questions, you know, like what's my weight, what's my height. So all of that is going to be in this video. I am 5'7", 5, 5 feet 7 inches tall, and this morning I weighed in at 120.8 pounds. My measurements are 35, 25, 36, and I am a size 0 or a size 2 depending on the store. I started this weight loss journey want to call it back in September so it's taken me about three months to lose 15 pounds I was at 136 pounds and my measurements were around 36 28 38 alrighty so now that we have that out of the way I tackled weight loss from a simple math point of view I kept my intake of calories around 1200 so I tried not to go over that and I was working out for 30 minutes a day at least five times a week during my workouts I would be strictly cardio I would do five minutes of sort of a brisk walk then 20 minutes of a run jog and then five minutes of cool down so that was basically my daily thing Okay, so there we have Ashante stats. So for someone of her height, five foot seven, 120 pounds, her body is going to be burning around 1,600 calories at rest. I mean, doing nothing, lying in bed, chilling out, not speaking, just lying still, basically. She's going to be burning 1,600 calories per day. And as you heard, Ashante is definitely not inactive. She's doing about 30 minutes exercise five times a week, and she's only eating 1,200 calories per day. So we can see one of the first mistakes Yushante made is she approached weight loss in a purely mathematical way, not in a holistic lifestyle way. And this is a huge mistake that I see very, very often. And this is exactly what the diet industry wants to happen because then you are never carved up. You're continually buying their products, buying their supplements, buying their lies and staying fat. That is what the diet industry wants for you. So in order to get lean and to maintain weight loss long term, you actually have to enjoy the program you're on. You need to enjoy the foods you're eating. You need to be living in a positive, abundant mindset. And that's what these diets don't allow you because you're always thinking about food. You have this negative relationship. It's always about starving yourself, eating less, eating less, eating less. And this program is what is not working for you and will not work for you long term. And that's the main reason we have millions and millions of people overweight and obese and always on some fad diet. So let's move on a few years and see if this mathematical approach, this calories in, calories out method is working for Yushante. I am considered to be overweight now, which is <laughs> depressing and comical because I never thought I would reach this point. So I don't know about you, but I have been where Yushante is now feeling like, oh my God, how did I get this big? How did I put on all this weight? How did this happen? It is depressing and it's frustrating and we're going to continue to experience this until we learn that big fat lesson, literally. And that lesson is to not restrict your calories. Do not restrict your calories. That is a lesson. Don't go on these calorie restrictive diets where you're starving yourself because mark my words, the weight will come back plus some, plus a lot in general. 
Unfortunately, Yushante has not learnt that lesson yet. So she's going down that same calorie restrictive path again and this way in a really big way. This is one of the worst diets that I have ever seen, the HCG diet, and she's going to tell you all about it now. Hello, everybody. I wanted to do a video on the new diet that I am on called the HCG diet. It is very controversial. It's very new. So I thought that I would do an intro video and then do a before and after video. So basically what this consists of is it's a really low calorie diet mixed with very little exercise mixed with injecting yourself with a hormone, human chorionic gonadotropin. And basically what this is, is it's a pregnant women hormone that helps to break down fat that'll be used for the baby. So obviously I'm not pregnant, nor am I planning to be pregnant anytime soon. Ah! So basically what it does in your body is it breaks down the fat. I know, it sounds like a miracle. It sounds too good to be true. And that's what I thought. So I went in, they gave me the whole spiel. I researched it for a while and um, decided that I wanted to do it. Some of you have noticed that I have gained weight. I have gained, let's see, I was at 118 at one point, And then my highest weight was 167. So that's how much weight I gained. Um, but we are working on losing that weight so I can no longer be considered overweight by my BMI. I have been doing this diet for one week now. Now the normal calorie intake that the diet follows is 500 calories a day, but my specific plan that my doctor came up with is 800 calories a day for me because I'm so young. He said, um, with my metabolism, I would be fine on 800 calories. So that's what I've been doing for a week. I've been injecting myself every day. And so far, I have gone from 167 down to 161. So that is just crazy to me. So I'm going to be continually updating you all on how this goes. Um, I'll probably check back in two weeks and we'll see how much weight I've lost since then. Okay, so I really feel for Yushante here. She is obviously desperate, absolutely desperate to lose weight. And it's totally crazy to do this. It's just pure starvation. And I have actually done similar to this in the past myself. I used to take a drug called clenbuterol and also duramine. And I'd couple that with ca like severe calorie restriction, starvation under a thousand calories. And did it get me to where I wanted to be? Absolutely not. It just damaged my metabolism further and taught my body to be a fat storer. Understandably, her viewers were confused and concerned for her. And as this lady said here, you know, surely when you go back to eating around 2000 calories after 30 days, won't you put the weight back on? And Jante says, I don't understand your question. I have changed my diet completely. I will not be consuming 2000 calories when I'm done with this diet. It will be a healthy number to maintain whatever my current weight will be, but it will most likely be 1200 to 1300 calories a day. No, just no. That is not how it's going to work at all. All. No one can maintain that sort of starvation diet long term. Luckily, the brain kicks into survival mode and makes us eat. It comes in the form of binges. The brain doesn't think, oh, cool, we're just going on a diet. Everything will be fine. No, the brain thinks starvation. The brain thinks conserve energy, conserve fat, conserve fuel on the body in case there's another famine coming up. What might be the scariest thing about all this is that a doctor actually prescribed to a young woman who wants to lose weight to eat 800 calories a day to starve herself essentially and inject herself with pregnant woman's hormone, chorionic gonadotropin. I mean, come on, what sort of world are we living in where we have the health professionals in society prescribing starvation and drug taking for weight loss rather than a healthy lifestyle change? So the reason that the human chorionic gonadotropin is prescribed is for appetite suppressant reasons. So the idea of using HCG injections to curb the appetite, it was in, introduced over 50 years ago and has been carefully studied in over a dozen well-done trials. So every single well-done trial showed that HCG injections were no better than injecting a salt water placebo. So in other words, people injected with HCG, they lost the same amount of weight as people who injected with salt water placebo. 
which means you're losing weight due to starvation. Of course, if you starve yourself, if you have 500, 800 calories a day, yes, you are going to lose weight, but you're losing vital water weight from your body. You're becoming dehydrated like a prune. That is not healthy. And once you start eating a normal amount again, guess what? The weight comes way back on. And during that time, you damage your metabolism further. And see, people like Yashante, they come to this lifestyle and they often gain weight initially. And they think, oh no, you know, fruit makes me fat. Oh, Rotor 4 made me fat. When they forget about all this abuse that they've done to their metabolism leading up to finding this lifestyle. So one way to stuff up your hormonal balance is to bring other hormones into your body that do not belong there. And that's what happens with these HCG drops. So you seriously risk throwing your thyroid function out of whack and a healthy functioning thyroid is super important when it comes to weight loss because your thyroid basically regulates your metabolism and plays a major role in the production and function of your hormones. So you don't want to screw with it by introducing new hormones into your body that aren't meant to be there. Yushante is risking serious nutrient deficiencies here. Developing gallstones is common, hair starts falling out, blood clots in the lungs. It is a dangerous diet. Another important thing to note about the HCG diet is that you are allowed unlimited coffee in tea on this diet. And no wonder, because you are so starved of glucose that, of course, you are going to need stimulants. I mean, what sort of plan is this where it fries your adrenal glands from these stimulants it destroys your metabolism and it turns you into a freaking nut job from a lack of brain fuel. Oh, it just frustrates me. I do not want to see any more women suffer at the hands of these starvation diets. So ladies, carve the fuck up so you don't fall for these scams. This is a 100% pure marketing scam. This is only about money. This isn't about your health. This isn't about you getting sustainable results. This is about draining your pocket of your cash, of your hard-earned money. So Yushante, I hope this video has been helpful. Please take advice from people who have already been there, who have already screwed their metabolism up. You do not want to go down this path. The HCG diet is going to be the worst thing you can do for your already fragile metabolism. So what you need now is a healing lifestyle that you can do for life. No more of these fad weight loss diets that you can only do for a couple of months. This lifestyle actually will heal your metabolism, will get you lean, happy, and healthy long term. But you got to jump on board. you got to give it a go. You have to treat it as a lifestyle and not as a diet. Every single time you say no to your appetite, you're doing damage to your metabolism. And that's something that I haven't done for a long, long time. And that's why I'm getting these lean results. And that's why it's hard for me to gain weight now because I'm consistently eating enough calories. I'm stoking my fire, my metabolism. And as a result, it's super efficient now. Remember, everybody can lose weight temporarily, but that's not evidence of a diet working as a lifestyle long term. Long term results are what truly matters. Can that diet keep you satisfied, happy, lean, healthy long term? So the secret is to change the source of your calories, not restrict your calories. So you go for high fiber, high carb, low fat plant foods, as opposed to animal products, which are high in fat and low in fiber. So you can really pack in the plant foods as much as you care for. And in time, you're only going to get happier, healthier and leaner. Okay, Fruit Bats, so that's the video for today. I really hope it helped. Ladies, please give up these starvation diets. Please give up calorie restriction on any level. You need to eat abundantly. If you want to get those lean, happy, healthy results long term, you need to do it through abundance, not through deprivation. Okay, Fruit Bats, so don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. And if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and I will see you soon.